You ought to rejoice about that. Y'all don't want to say that. I'll say it for you. Amen. Amen. Preach, Pastor, preach. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. Amen. Amen. Let's wrap this up. They bring the ark. Notice what the text says. There was a shout. There was a shout. And the shout was so loud yes. that it shook the ground. Yes. Shook the ground so much that the Philistine army that was on the other side of the ridge felt the ground shake. Yes. And they got scared. Yes. And notice what they said. Yes. Oh no. Yeah. The ark is in the camp. Yes. Their God is with them. Yes. We have no hope. You saw what they did to the Egyptians. Notice how the power of God always goes before the battle of God to remind the enemies of God that they stand no chance in heaven or hell to overcome the people of God but God's people can be defeated if their focus is not on God when your focus is on anything other than God you fail when you put your faith and your trust in institutions whether in the church or outside the church you will fail it will fail. The church will fail you if your faith is in the church. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. If you put your trust in a pastor, eventually that pastor will fail you. If you put your trust in a church elder or a church sister, eventually they will fail you. Why? Because all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Don't look at me and think I'm so holy and if you get beside me, you've got an automatic pass into God's ear. I am just a man like you in this church trying to make it just like you. I'm struggling with my faith. I'm still learning God's ways. I'm still trying to do His will. I don't have it down pat. I would encourage you to turn your upon Jesus. Amen. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at Sister Lazarus. Stop looking at Brother Levy. Stop looking at Cecile. Stop looking at people in the church. I want to tell you how I know your focus is not on the Lord. Because whenever two people in the church got a problem and one of them say, I am never coming back here. That's how I know your focus ain't really on God. You're still watching God's people. Yeah. Let me remind you something. God's people is not God. Yeah. And I told you this a few months ago, that whenever I hear somebody say, well, I'm not going to church because the church is full of hypocrites. Mm -hmm. That's like saying, I ain't going to gym because the gym is full of fat people. <laughs> <laughs> And by God's grace, I'm one of them fat people trying to get slim. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Uh, come on, Cabell, we can do it. <laughs> These commandments had been given to them generations before. They knew it. Don't put nothing else before me. They get all riled up. Oh, have you ever been in a church service? Everybody gets all riled up. All riled up. They're singing songs fervently and, 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 and gustily. And everybody's all happy. And there's good sermon and good music. And everybody feels great. And then you say, let's go out and evangelize the world. And two people show up. Yeah. You know what the text says? The text says, after all that shouting, and all that hallelujahing and all that stuff because the ark of the God had come to the camp. When they finally got to the battle, Mr. Thomas, the problem with that was the text only says the Philistines fought. <laughs> Nowhere does it say Israel fought. Just the Philistines. You know why? Because they thought if the ark is here, we don't have to try as hard. Oh. Now let me deal with the Adventist item. <laughs> if the conference is there, 
We have all the resources in the world. If we just show up on the Sabbath, then coming on Sabbath is good enough. If I only eat Worthington and Loma Linda, I'll be all right. If, if, if I only just juice some kale and some carrots and purify my system, I'll be all right. If I learn how to pray like Sister Olivia, I'll be all right. If I could only sing like Arne, I'll be all right. If I could only be as righteous as Sister Lazarus, I'll be all right. If I could only have a marriage like Brother and Sister Coke, I'll be all right. If I can go through hell and still stay in church like Don Brown, I'll be all right. Let me let you know something right now. You will never be all right as long as you keep putting idols before God. For some of us, the idol is the institution of the church. Oh, man. I'm not talking about the local church. I'm talking about the Seventh-day Adventist church. We get so proud when we talk about general conference. And we get so proud when we talk about certain of our buildings. And we get so proud about our organization and the way we're structured. And we get so proud about how well the church is doing. And we get so proud of the church. And we believe that Ted Wilson and all the other ones that are in charge of the Lord's church are the end all and be all of God's voice and his righteousness. Keep your mind fixed on Jesus. The same God that talks to them is the same God that can talk to you. All you've got to do is open the word of God and let him speak. Yeah. Some of us got Bibles we haven't opened in a long time. Mm -hmm. Sitting down at our coffee tables collecting dust. Dusty Bibles make dusty Christians. Hmm? Here's one of the biggest idols, says he. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor, do all thy work, but the seventh day, hallelujah, is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. As if the seventh day after this message begins and ends, Otis, with the Sabbath. As if it begins and ends only with the speaking of the Sabbath, the theology of the Sabbath, and all things that go around the Sabbath. There's some people that put more faith in the Sabbath than they put in God to try to pay their mortgage. Amen. Here's how you know you've got an idol. You want the secret? Want the secret? I've got to let you know it so you can change. Here's how you know you've got an idol. When the problem comes and the first thing you turn to is not God, you have an idol. My life right now is going to hell in a handbasket because I don't have finances. But because I don't have finances, then the solution, Brother Hampton, must be to go to the bank. My love life is spiraling out of control. I want somebody. I need somebody. After all, we were made to be companions for one another. And because I desire and yearn for attention and affection, I will go to jdate.com. <laughs> okay, okay, we're in church. I'll put it differently. Christianmingle.com. <laughs> Then talk to me now. Some of us fill out the profile right, huh? And, and try and make myself look halfway decent in the process. <laughs> you know how crusty you look. That one good picture you took ten years ago is the one you're using on Christian Mingle because you want to attract all the fans to the honey. But what you look like now is that you were looking at that. <laughs> but your problem is instead of going to God, you went to the idol. 
problem with an idol is that it looks so much like God the longer you stay in front of it, the more you'll begin to believe that it is. You can become so blinded that when the time for truth comes, you can refuse to see it. Because let me tell you something, the idol will never tell you that it's an idol. Mm -hmm. Put your hopes in things eternal Amen. and on the firm foundation that I am God all by myself. I don't need anybody else. I can handle things all on my own. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the ending. I am your all in all. If it had not been for the Lord on my side. So my appeal to you today is give up your idols. Give up your idols. Give up your idols. Pastor Addison told me a story the other day. I'm going to use it to the fits. So the other day, he said he was somewhere. And Brother Shaw, a man came up to him, older gentleman, comes up to him and starts talking to him. You're looking so good. Thank you. You're looking well. Thank you. How are things? Oh, they're good. Man, you, 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 you look healthy. Thank you. A half an hour, this man is talking to him. Pleasantries are being exchanged. Addison is just standing there, just trying to look cute. <laughs> I emphasize the word trying. <laughs> See, now we'll catch that later. <laughs> but he's standing, he's talking to this dude. Oh, it's so wonderful. And it's wonderful to see what you have accomplished. Thank you. You just climbed the ladder so fast. Thank you. It's amazing. You know, it's very few black people reach when you reach it. Thank you. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. It's nice to know that one of us became a judge. <laughs> Half an hour. Now, I just said, when he finally realized that this man was confusing him with somebody else, he didn't have the heart to tell him. Things of earth will grow strange. 
strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Here's the end summation. When God knows that you're his child, but that your attention is somewhere else, he will hurt you in order to focus you. Amen. The Bible said 4,000 of them fell first. But after they put their focus on the wrong thing, 30,000 fell afterwards. Now God could have wiped them off the face of the earth with the Philistine army that had superior weaponry. But God allowed enough to happen to get their attention before it was too late. Here's what I'm asking today. Has God got your attention now? What, what are you looking at and focusing on that is taking the place of God? The biggest problem is that the more religious the thing is the graver the sin. Yes. <laughs> Don't presume to know God unless you've spent time with God. The only way you got to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus is if you spend time with him on a regular basis. Some of us believe, well, if I got the Bible and I got the hymnal, then I can worship. Y'all ought to learn how to worship without the Bible and without the hymnal. Here's why there's going to come a day when you ain't got no Bible and you ain't got no hymnal. So you got to put the word of God up here and the songs of God right here. So that when the time comes, you can still lift up your eyes unto the hill from whence cometh your help. You can still sing in your heart, I am thine, O Lord, I have heard that voice. You need that. simple appeal to the church of God today is cast off your idols. Stop bowing down before them. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Keep my word love me, keep my commandments. If you love me. If you love me. Strip yourself of all the rest of the stuff and just bring you to the Lord. He's waiting for you right now. Keep the way clear. Let nothing between Paul said, I let nothing separate me from the love of God. And if while you're sitting here, you thought to yourself, you know, Lord, maybe there was an idol that I was putting between me and me. And I'm all for it. Thank God there's a text in the book of Acts that says the Lord winks at ignorance. But now that you know, you're accountable for what you know. Not for what you pretend not to know. But for what you know, simple appeal today. All of you who desire to say, Lord, here I am. Just me. Take all the bad out. Fill me with only you. So that I can be wholly that. That's you today.